This woke actor is getting absolutely destroyed for his unhinged attacks directed at fans for not liking the, the lore-breaking directions that HBO is continuing to take their House of Dragons show. So House of the Dragon star Steve Toussaint implies critics of Lord Valerian race swap are racist. Everyone say it with me. Whenever there's something that's happened to us that we don't like, it's racist. They're happy with a dragon, white hair, and violet-colored eyes, but a rich black guy is beyond the pale. Uh, you mean, uh, you know, things that are actually from the books, the the lore? Yeah, I can I can understand why you know fans would be happy about those things. I, it makes sense, but. Once again, this has nothing to do with the fact that there's a black guy. That's not what the ultimate problem is, and this is a deflection that they continue to use. They continue to use minorities as shields for their woke agendas when they continue to get called out for their woke nonsense. They then say, oh, it's because you didn't like our d diversity hire. It's because you didn't like our forced diversity in this show. That has nothing to do with it, ultimately. I've said this many times about things like Rings of Power. Rings of Power has people who are playing black elves in the show i ultimately don't really care if there are black elves they just don't fit in middle earth now if amazon had decided to have the the gonads to make their own original show that was set in a fantasy world where elves were black i wouldn't care in fact, if I remember correctly, there is the show that Netflix has done that is called Dragon Prince, and I believe, if I'm not mistaken, there are black elves in that show. I don't have a problem with that. I've never had a problem with it, and no one has ever had a problem with it. People have a problem when you take something that has already been created and established by an author, and people have loved it for, for decades, and then you completely, uh, radically change everything about that show in order to reform it into your own woke image. So, let's see what the actor has to say here. Like I said, he goes on some pretty crazy little tirades here, so let's get right into it. As is easily gleaned from his name, Lord Valerian was the leader of the eponymous ruling House of Driftmark, whose royal members are, ex as explained by Martin in the second A Song of Ice and Fire novel, a clash of kings descended from the same Valerian people as their neighbors in Dragonstone, House Targaryen. So, there's some similarities between these two families, and this guy is playing a Valerian. Due to this common ancestry, the Lord of the Tides, this is very important, like all members of House of Valerion, was said to bear a physical resemblance to his people's dragon rider counterparts, sharing such features as pale skin, pale skin, golden silk-like hair, and purple eyes so striking that, as seen in A Feast for Crows, even Cersei finds herself captivated. So, that... the. Right there, it goes to show that they have no interest in respecting the lore, the history, nothing like that. And it's just, like, ex what is happening to shows and movies in Hollywood is exactly what we continue to see happen in the education system with things like, you know, uh, critical race theory and the 1619 Project and everything else. Where they want to completely uproot history and change history in order to fit the new woke ideology. So, the same thing is happening with Hollywood and the different things that Hollywood has created as well so unsurprisingly this decision was met with backlash from fans huh i wonder why so let's see what he has to say here speaking to his feelings joining a franchise as popular as game of thrones the actor recalled to, to outlet contributor hannah flint what has been wonderful is for every toxic person that has somehow found their way into my timeline there have been so many others who have been so supportive and been like omg i can't wait this is going to be great and then, listen, okay, this, this quote right here is pretty insane. Even when we were doing certain scenes, he added, there would be supporting artists who would come up and go, it's great to have this representation. Which, right there, right in that comment, right there, that goes to show that they have literally no interest at all in making a show that is based on merit, good storytelling, good character development. It is all about the agenda it is all about identity politics and everything that shouldn't be what a, a story is is um, built upon in turn met with a response of yeah it's like when people get annoyed about diversity and period dramas from flint who added first of all people of color existed in the past <laughs> which is literally what no one is saying that is not what the problem is oh my gosh these people can't even 
properly address the 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 what what people are actually arguing. Secondly, if you care more about a guy's skin color than the fact that everyone's miraculously got gorgeous teeth, it just shows your prejudice. You mean in the same way that you guys are caring more about skin color more than you know actually being faithful to the story or history or whatever else? That's so true. Toussaint affirmed. So many people are basing their ideas of the history of this country on a few films and stuff that was made in the 50s, 60s, 70s, which don't bear any resemblance to the truth. Historically, people of my hue and your hue, we didn't just turn up here in the 70s or 60s, which once again, that's not what people are saying. That's not what the problem is. But once again, you continue to see what, what they're doing here. They're covering their ears to what the actual problems are and they're deflecting to continue to try to use minorities as scapegoats to uh you know be shields for their woke agendas so when you have a critical problem when you criticize something that's happening in a show that you don't like they can be like oh well we have our forced diversity hire here that's why you don't like our show it's because of him no, it has nothing to do with him or his skin color. It's the fact that you guys are completely destroying the actual lore and history and have no respect for that because the thing that is more important to you is your woke agenda. With that being said, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think about what he says here in the comments below. Leave a like, subscribe, and I'll talk to you all in another video very soon.